Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Monday, November 7th, 2022, we're covering the U.S. versus Neil Cole trial, Iconics, the cooperator, Seth Horowitz is on the stand. Don't know if he'll get to cross today, I hope so. Uh, Friday, just reporting this now in this format, um, Tom Barrick, uh, Trump ally, uh, accused uh, under Section 951 of being an agent of the UAE was exonerated on all charges. Something is wrong with that section. Strangely, the prosecutors didn't put out a press release saying anything. Uh, they just moved on to the next case, but it's a big case and we've written about it and you can read about it. Also, less of a big case, kind of shooting fish in a barrel, Dr. Edelglass was convicted here in SDNY of um, making people addicted to opioids, jacking up their, their dosage and then uh, monetizing them. Convicted, convicted. Now we came across also, in New York State Court, um, Trump org case should get back on track after the COVID positive of the uh, CFO witness. But we came Friday to cover the case of uh, Breest versus Haggis, Paul Haggis. Yes, the writer of Crash and Million Dollar Baby and somehow a credit on Walker, Texas Ranger. Anyway, I spent, it was, it was uh, we live tweeted and wrote about it. but. Today, uh, uh, another witness is going to appear, and we're going to keep covering that case. It's actually quite interesting. We're also going to cover not only the United Nations, which retain, remains a place of censorship and corruption, banning the press that dares ask about uh, Secretary General Antonio Guterres' connection to the China Energy Fund Committee, but also this COP27, which is it's being held in Egypt, which is uh, quite a human rights paradise, and I say that quite sarcastically. Uh, most Many opponents locked up. Um, now they have an app for COP27. Do not sign up because this is an app that uh, requests permission to everything. It will track your movements wherever you go. So this is Antonio Guterres's big, big moment in the sun. This is his one issue that he believes makes up for all of his other failures and corruption. And I want to tell you it doesn't. After that, he'll jet to Bali and then I've just heard Morocco as well. So we'll be covering all of it, even as we remain banned from the United Nations. To be continued.